Presenting the Male Reproductive System At first glance, we see the external genitalia, the penis and scrotum. But beneath this seemingly simple exterior lies a complex network of tissues, blood vessels, and nerves. The penis houses three cylindrical structures, two corpora cavernosa and one corpus spongiosum, all encased by the tunica albiginea. But what makes these structures so special? These structures aren't just passive conduits, they're dynamic, responsive tissues capable of dramatic changes in blood flow and volume. The corpora cavernosa, when filled with blood, are responsible for the rigidity of an erection. But how does this system spring into action? The answer lies in a delicate dance between nerves and blood vessels. Arousal begins in the brain, triggering a cascade of events. Parasympathetic nerve signals travel through the pelvic splanchnic nerves, eventually reaching the cavernous nerves in the penis. These nerves release a crucial molecule, nitric oxide. Nitric oxide, or NO, is the key player in initiating an erection. It diffuses into the smooth muscle cells lining the blood vessels and erectile tissues. Here, NO activates an enzyme called guanolate cyclis, which in turn produces cyclic guanosine monophosphate, or CGMP. This molecular messenger causes the smooth muscles to relax, allowing blood to rush in. As CGMP levels rise, a remarkable transformation occurs. The usually constricted arteries supplying the penis dilate dramatically. Blood flow increases up to 40 times the normal rate. The corpora cavernosa and corpus spongiosum rapidly fill with blood, expanding against the surrounding tunica albuginea. This tough, elastic sheath reaches its limit of expansion, creating a closed hydraulic system. But how does this system maintain its rigidity? As the erectile tissues expand, they compress the veins running close to the surface of the penis. This venous occlusion traps blood within the erectile chambers, sustaining the erection. The role of blood flow in erections cannot be overstated. Normally, the balance between arterial inflow and venous outflow is precisely regulated. But in priapism, this balance is lost. Enzymes like phosphodiesterase type 5 break down CGMP, counteracting the effects of nitric oxide. Sympathetic nerve signals can trigger the release of norepinephrine, causing smooth muscle contraction and reduced blood flow. Even hormones play a role, with testosterone enhancing nitric oxide production. As arousal subsides, the process reverses. Sympathetic nerves activate, triggering the release of norepinephrine. This causes smooth muscle contraction in the erectile tissues and blood vessels. The corpora cavernosa and corpus spongiosum return to their flaccid state, and the cycle is complete. From the microscopic release of nitric oxide to the macroscopic changes in blood flow, every step is precisely choreographed. Understanding these mechanisms not only satisfies scientific curiosity, but also paves the way for better treatments for erectile dysfunction and other related conditions.